Hello, I'm Atsubo Judge and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now today is Friday. Mm. Well, I know Fridays. <laughs> you know what? Now, you can sit back and reflect on all everything that's been shared. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and today. Mm. And just get blessed. Listening to it one time you know, it will not do the job. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because while you were listening to it, just like you're listening to us right now, you, you, the Spirit of God will be ministering things to yes. you. And, and in a short while, it will end. Something will get your attention. Mm -hmm. And somehow you may forget. But now when you go back to listening again, and, and you get to that point again, and the Spirit of God continues what He was talking to you about. Mm -hmm. I remember those days, the cassettes, cassette, oh dear Lord. You know, we will listen. You know, we had workmen. You know, we call workmen. Okay. <laughs> you know, just put it here. And, and you listen. You, you stop, rewind, and listen again. Mm -hmm. Stop, rewind, mm -hmm. and listen. That's how mm -hmm. we listen to the word of God. Who been in this thing? Praise so God. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, thank you, Lord. Have we called for that daily bread? Come on, now. let's call for that daily mm. bread today. Say this with us. Say, Father. Father. Today, today we, demand we demand and receive, and receive our, daily our daily bread. It's working in us it's now. It's working in us now. In Jesus', in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. We receive your truth into our hearts. And we declare right now, burdens are lifted, yokes are destroyed. Amen. Mm. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, let's just go on. Let's just go on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about your attitude as a child of God. The Bible says we should submit ourselves one to another. And this submission submitting ourselves one one to another cannot be achieved if we are not personally submitted to God because the place of your relationship with God will rub off on the next person in the home as a wife, as a mother as a child, an in-law cousin, aunt listening or watching right now what is your relationship with God are you submitted to God we talked about how that you're intentional with your love work with your, and your love work is going to be expressed by your actions and your words when someone does anything to you, what's your response? What's your response? <clears throat> the Bible says the goodness of God leads to repentance. When someone does evil to you and you show the person good, eventually it leads the person to repentance. You know, sometimes when people say things like this, people will think, Are you trying to just tell me to be a fool? As someone will help me, and I'll just be. The word of God doesn't tell you to be free. Mm -mm. The word of God tells you to act in faith. Yeah. And that is wisdom. Faith responds to the voice of God. Because you cannot have faith when you don't hear God. Yeah. It's yeah. that voice that comes to you and you receive it. That's what produces faith. So when you start acting based on that word, you're exercising your faith. So Acting in love is acting in faith. In faith yeah. So what is love saying concerning that situation so that I can even exercise my faith? Exactly. What is love saying? No matter the situation, the situations that plague life is, is too numerous for us to be able to handle in one broadcast. But here is it. When you take it to the Lord, you submit to the Lord, you will be able to submit to one another. The first thing you will do is to listen. Yeah, listen. Yes. You listen to God. What is he saying to you? And then even when man, <coughs> man is talking to you, your husband is talking to you, your wife is talking to you, your children are talking, you listen. You want to hear them out so that you know how to come in. Sometimes their words, the way they start may be offensive. It takes maturity to hold yourself back. 
hold your ego because sometimes this our ego wants to be offended all the time. How dare you talk to me like that? As a man, you're already shutting up your wife. Submitting to God <coughs> is what's going to help you. Submit, Submit to one another. Yes. Look at Higa. First time she ran away. And she met God. And God said, go back and submit. She first of all had to submit to, to God. God. And obey his word. And then the obedience of the world is going back to the bad boss. Mm, the court. And submitting. I believe, because God will not tell you to do something that will not benefit you. Mm. <clears throat> I believe for some reason, God will have made her stay comforted mm. when she got there. Yeah, God also would have spoken it, it, to Sarah. It may not have been hundred mm. percent. Yeah, but you see, that command she first was submitted to the Lord. So anytime she sees what the madam does, God said, "I should submit." Stay. She loved the madam. Now that was a great thing Abraham did. In his household. household. Abraham somehow, it's amazing, because the, the times we saw the expression of his servants, mm. we saw them dealing with the Lord. Yes. So that gives us a picture. We, we saw that with Haggai, mm. and then we saw that with uh, Isaac. Yes. We saw that. When he went to get a wife for Isaac, mm. he prayed to the Lord. He didn't, he didn't cut corners. Mm. The tax was heavy. I mean, someone said, go look for a wife for my son. Where do I start from? I'm not looking for a wife for myself. <laughs> she, she has to be the right person. But he knew what to do. Mm. He prayed. Mm. And God answered. Mm. Now, we see, hey, guy, God talking to her also. And based on God's word. So, so listen. <clears throat> And that's one great benefit that we have as a couple. Mm. The fact that we are both submitted to, to the Lord. I mean, deeply, deeply. My wife's relationship with the Lord is not dependent on me. At all. My relationship with the Lord is not dependent on my wife. Mm. Now, there are times we've had arguments and we couldn't find the common, common ground. ground. I mean, between both of us. Mm. And so we leave it. But well, guess what? The Lord steps in. Yeah, because we always say the Lord will help us. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't agree. We just go, you know what? Maybe <laughs> the Lord will help us. <laughs> the Lord steps in. And mm. He ministers to my heart. Or he ministers to your heart. And then the next thing, like, you know what? Okay, that thing we're talking about yesterday. Yeah, I think this is the solution. Now, I'm confident because I know that when it comes to the the end of the road, if my wife's going to go in this other direction, I'm confident that the end of that journey, she's going to meet the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord will tell her the right state to do. Mm. And she's confident also in me that if I go in this direction, I'm going to meet the Lord. And the Lord will tell me what to do. Now, we are that confident in our relationship with God. And guess what that does? We are in peace with one another. And our life becomes easy. Easy. It will be a blessing. I always told you this. I don't love you because of you. Mm. I love you because I have received a command, command from the Lord to do so. Mm. So I don't look at what you do to like, mm. I just love my wife because she is this. What mm. is deep seated in my heart is I have received a, a command. command to love. Mm. The good thing about this, and this is the truth, you make it sweet for me to obey the Lord's command. 
And that's where your goodness comes, comes in. That's where your character comes. But despite all that, I am under a command, command. to love you first. So if I'm going to check the actions that you do to determine if I love you, then that is immaturity. Fickle. That's immaturity. Mm. So rather, if I see actions that are unpleasant, I rather look for ways to keep obeying the Lord. And then I trust Him for the wisdom. Hey Lord, I don't know what to do in this situation. Oh, oh Help Lord, me. What do I do? Because I'm bound to love. To love. Because He gave me that command. So submitting to Him first. First. Now I'm not going to compromise my faith in Him for. Anything. Anything. But see the mistake people make. I'm not going to compromise my faith in him for anything. Now, they don't realize that the Lord has commanded you to love your wife. So then your wife makes a mistake. And they say, look, me, I'm not going to compromise my faith. So if I have to cut you off, I'll cut you off so that I can make heaven. Mm -mm. One of the ways to make heaven is to love the one that you have been commanded to love. Praise God. No, you don't cut off. If not, that's the same way you're going to cut off your salvation one day. Yeah. Because so Satan is just going to throw something at you mm -hmm. and say, Huh? Mm -hmm. And I'd rather go to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, talking about love, the command to love your yeah. wife. Ephesians 5. Yeah. Let's go there, please. 5 verse 25. I'm, I'm talking about the husbands. Yeah. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. So, if I am still manifesting some kind of attitudes, is the responsibility of my husband to cleanse me Sanctify me, cleanse me, not by your ability, but by the word. So you're going to go before the Lord, receiving words from him that you will use to, to cleanse me. Because you're cleansed by the washing of, of the water. By the water. word. So you're not going to be cleansing me with spiteful, hateful, Defensive words. I mean, in my mind, I'm trying to, I'm trying to I'm, discipline. You're trying to put me in order. I'm trying to put my wife in order. Because that's not the cleansing that God has ordained. So when you bring that kind of cleansing to me, it's just natural for me to backfire. Except I am conscious also to put myself under no, but, but God. The point is it to not go, it's not going to produce any the fruit of righteousness. Exactly. It's not going to produce on your part. But also, the wife also has a part to play. If my husband is not cleansing me right, what do I do? Ephesians 5.22 Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. You talked about how... You know I'm, I'm to my spirit. Okay. I know what I'm to say. So let me just say this. Okay. What cleanses is the word. Mm. So the husband should be wise enough to discipline himself to receive the word for the cleansing of his wife. Mm. But then if a wife feels that she's going astray, mm. the word of God is still available. Exactly. It doesn't have to come from the husband. Mm -mm. It can come from the spirit of God himself. That's why she submitted to the Lord. Her relationship with the Lord cannot be determined by the action of her husband. And when, when, when she connects with the Lord, mm. the cleansing comes in and then she becomes a better wife to the husband. Exactly. And by her goodness to him, because the Lord will still be talking to her to be good to the husband, irrespective of his actions. It just boils down to one. Everyone be submitted, be submitted to, to the Lord in the home. Be submitted to the Lord. There's no other way. Mm -mm. Everyone, husband, 
wife, children. Mm -hmm. I mean, children are mature enough to know. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they will learn from their parents. The servants will learn from the master. Servants. Everybody, everybody in the home. Servants. That's what happened in the home of Abraham. Abraham took the lead. Uh, Wife followed. Husband. Uh, um, our time is up. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to this next week. <laughs> Thank you God's so word is complete. Thank you for. It's good to trust Him. Thank you for having me. Letting the Spirit of God bring out what He spoke inside of you. Thank you. And thank we you. thank you also for taking our time using your data <laughs> to watch this broadcast. Now, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube, YouTube channel, channel yet, yes. please do so. Do so. This broadcast comes every weekday. I think by 5 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get so, it first. So even if we don't post mm -hmm. it, it's there. By 5 30 a.m., you get the notification that the broadcast mm -hmm. has come up. Mm -hmm. We can just listen to it directly on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Praise. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this. Word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the things you have brought forth to us. Mm -hmm. Lord, this washing is taking place mm. in every Amen. Because you're building your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I release everyone into their inheritance this weekend. Amen. Father, we stand in agreement and we declare you will get into your inheritance this week. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive Amen. the testimony from the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We love you so dearly. much. I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.